Hi, EM Warriors, it's Phyllis with Yoga Ability. We're here today on day 11. Can you believe it's day 11? It's so wonderful. To do our very first standing warrior pose. Um, today is Warrior 2. We're gonna learn Warrior 2. I'm so excited. It's a powerful pose. When you get in it, I want you to feel really powerful. Um, so if you don't already, you should. Um, you deal with something that most people know very little of or have any kind of understanding over. So the kind of pain you deal with every day um, takes a certain amount of grace and power and um, just resilience. And so kudos to all of you. Here we go. Are you ready? We're gonna come up to the top of our mat. Our feet are gonna be hip distance apart. And then we're gonna take that left leg back behind us and turn the toes to the side of the mat. So left toes are to the side of the mat, right toes are to the front of the mat. Now we're gonna put a bend in our right leg. So the knee, our knee is right over the top of our ankle so I can draw a straight line down. Also, we're gonna have a straight line from our ankle to our to our arch. So if I drew a line from my ankle to my arch, I should have a nice straight line. Next, you're going to want to square off those hips to the side of the mat. We're going to inhale from here, drawing our arms up, straight up, reach and stretch, and then let them come down to a T. Mm -hmm. Fingers are tipped together, so all my fingers are like bound together, not splayed out. We've got them all together, nice and straight. And then our gaze is going to go right over the top of our right fingertips. And we're breathing easy. Let those shoulders kind of relax and drop back as you lift up and push forward with your heart center or your chest. Just breathing easy here. Mm -hmm. We're going to relax those hands by our sides. Straighten that right leg. Turn the toes of that right foot to the side of the mat now. And we're gonna go the opposite direction. So toes of the left foot are going to face the back of the mat. We're gonna put a bend in that knee. So that knee is right over the top of that ankle. My arch and my heel line up. I can draw a line between them. My hips are squared off. Now, if this is really hard on your legs, you might wanna shorten that distance, okay? If you want more of a challenge, you can take that leg back a little bit more. Just remember to check your alignment before you move into this pose, okay? Hips are squared off. Inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, drop them to a T, fingertips together, stretching at the wrists. Like you're a tug of war rope and somebody's pulling you at both ends. Your gaze is over your left fingertips. You're breathing. Your shoulders are relaxed. I know it's a lot to think about, but it should feel really good and really powerful to be in this pose. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna release this pose. Release your arms, straighten that leg. Coming back to a nice standing position. If you're in the chair, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna do the same pose, Virabhadrasana 2 or Warrior 2 in the chair. So doing this in the chair is actually quite fun. I like it, but it can be challenging. I think it's more challenging to do it in the chair than it is to do standing, but we're gonna do it. So all of, all of you in a chair, or if you want, we're standing and you wanna join me in doing the chair pose, come and join me. You're gonna make sure your bottom is covered by the chair, but your legs uh, don't have anything under them because it'll be easier to move. So we're gonna take that right leg and we're gonna turn the toes toward the front of the mat or to the side of the chair. We're gonna take our left leg and just take it back as far back as you can. But again, I want you to line up that heel with your arch, okay? Now you might not be able to get your leg entirely straight, and if you can't, it's okay. You can have it bent, okay? Being in the chair, it's just really awkward to, to do this pose and get all of our joints to cooperate with us because we're kind of um, messing with the alignment of our body. So if you need to keep this leg bent, it's okay. What's really important though is to have that knee right over the top of your ankle. So if it's not straight, straighten it out. 
make sure your hips are squared off on this chair, okay? We're gonna sit up nice and straight and tall. Inhale, draw those arms up, and as you exhale, let them come to a T. Once again, fingertips together. We're doing the same thing we did while we were standing. Your gaze is gonna go over your right fingertips. You're not gonna forget to breathe, right? You're breathing. Let those shoulders come back. Just relax. Feel as if somebody's pulling you at both wrists. Lift through that spine. Breathe. Uh-huh. Let's drop our arms. Turn the toes of that right foot forward. Bring the left foot back close to you. We're gonna readjust the sacrum if, it, it, if you got out of alignment on your, your bum. We're gonna turn the toes now of the left foot so it's facing the back of the mat or the side of your chair. We're gonna take the right leg back now behind us bent or straight, however you can get it. Straight's better if you can get it straight, but if you can't, it's okay. Keep it, I'd rather have you lined up with your heel and arch and have your knee right over the top of your ankle, okay? Nice and straight. Make sure those hips are squared off and that you have equal balance on both sides of your sit bones. Inhale, draw those arms up. Exhale, let them come to a T. Fingertips together. Mm-hmm, lifting through that spine, gaze comes over your left fingertips. Breathing, mm-hmm, shoulders relax, let go of them, let go of those shoulders. I know somebody's holding them, I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. So, powerful warriors in this pose. Mm-hmm, one more inhale, and on the exhale, let your hands come down to your sides. Bring both of your toes facing forward. Draw your legs in, sitting nicely back in your chair. Oh, that feels so good. Warrior two, thank you so much for being with me today. I will see you again tomorrow.